Hi, welcome to the Sky Studio tutorial series. Sky Studio brings extensive customization without sacrificing performance, so you can build beautiful and engaging content. Today we're going to talk about how to customize and control the clouds in the sky. So to get started, let's make sure we're all looking at the same starter scene. In Sky Studio, you can open up a scene in Friendly Sky Studio, Tutorials, Basic Starter. I'm actually going to duplicate the scene first, so I don't modify the original, and I'm going to open that up. Now let's go ahead and create a new sky system in the scene that has some clouds, and we'll go ahead and talk about those clouds next. Let's go to Window, Sky Studio, Setup Sky, and I'm going to create a new sky system based on one of our presets here called Blue Sky with Light Clouds. As promised, there is a blue sky with light clouds. And take a look around. You know, notice they're blowing around nice and softly and slow. And um, it looks great. And there's a nice little fade out into the horizon. So let's go ahead and just walk through. I'm going to tilt the camera up so it's easy to see. And let's go ahead and just look at the sky profile. You'll notice the clouds feature is enabled now. You can easily disable the cloud feature by unchecking the box. And go ahead and add it back in. And then if we scroll down to the section that controls the clouds, it's called clouds down here. The cloud noise texture is basically controls the graininess of, of the clouds. It's kind of like the style of them. It's a RGB noise texture. You don't need to create your own. We ship with a, a couple. Um, for example, there's a low poly one that kind of has a polygony um, noise stamped into the texture. Um, but usually people want the basic uncompressed or just the basic if you're trying to save on some texture size. Next is the cloud density. The density controls um, how many clouds are in the scene. So as I raise it, you'll notice it becomes more cloudy. And now it gets to the point where it's basically stormy. And then as I reduce it, it's more of a very, very light cloudy day almost down to nearly zero clouds. So based on what you're going for, you can just kind of dial that in. I'm gonna bring it up so we have some clouds here. It makes it easier to talk about the next couple settings. The texture tiling lets you control the, um, the tiling of the image, the noise texture. So this basically ends up controlling the size of the clouds and the repetition of them is the end result. So you'll notice as I bring it up, there ends up being more clouds uh, and they look you know, smaller and more frequent. And then as I bring it down, you get longer, wider clouds that almost are kind of like a, a fog, mist, haze kind of, kind of environment. So you'll dial this in to wherever you want it. I think something like that looks, looks good. Next, you can talk about the cloud speed. So you'll notice that, I'm going to click play here just to make sure everything is running. You'll notice that we, the clouds are moving. They're moving very slowly, but we can also we can go ahead and speed them up. And now there's kind of a fast fast speed in the clouds. Um, in the real world, clouds do not move extremely fast, and so you typically don't want to bring it up this high. Um, something down here I think looks nice. Usually you don't notice clouds moving in the sky, they just kind of move. Um, the cloud direction lets you pick what direction the wind is moving in your scene, essentially. Um, that's, the, that's the direction in which the clouds are going to animate. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to bring the speed up just for the sake of understanding direction here. But you notice it's coming at us, and then I, if I move it, to, now it's moving away into the left. Now it's moving uh, away from us into the horizon, and so on. So this is basically just controlling, twisting it, the wind around the different directions of the of the uh, you know the sphere. The cloud height. Uh, I'm going to bring the speed back down a little bit. The cloud height um, lets you adjust exactly that. It's the perceived height of the clouds. As you bring them down and you bring them up, you get the, this kind of sensor illusion that the clouds are becoming bigger or smaller. Well, then the, you'll notice there's two color options for the clouds. Um, these are used to create you know, some style and color that we end up basically multiplying in uh, to the noise textures to generate um, some 3D-ness um, of the clouds. So for example, let's say you want to come in and customize the clouds because you're doing, you're making a Mars game or something. So you might want some cool red clouds. Um, so the first color ends up being the more of an accent color and this is more of a detail color. Um, so you'll notice that the, the darker colors here are kind of filling in more of the secondary spaces of the clouds. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back to 
the previous colors. It's worth mentioning also, I'm gonna use just uh, Control Z on Windows or Undo on, you know, on Mac as well. All of Sky Studio's controls for every single one of these sliders um, and knobs and colors can all use the, use the undo buttons and they'll restore everything back just like you'd expect. Now, the cloud fade out distance, this is the distance in the scene at which we're gonna start fading um, those clouds out in the horizon. You'll notice in the horizon here, there are no clouds and that's, that's kind of, that's meant to match reality. When you look in the distance, you don't see very detailed clouds. It's kind of like misted away. It's too far for us to really see and there's atmospheric conditions. So this helps you determine where that's where or if at all it's going to happen. So um, if I move it all the way to, to the end, it's not going to happen at all. And see how it looks so strange because you can kind of see the clouds wrapping all the way to the horizon. Um, you would not typically want that. You'd want to probably bring it back. Uh, then this is how much it's going to, to animate um, to fade out. It can be only halfway, a little bit. So this will leave a little bit of detail in the horizon, but they're still faded out at least 60% here. Um, or if I do that up to, you know, one, it's 100% faded out by the time it reaches the end. So that concludes the cloud customization section. Thanks for tuning in. And in the following videos, we'll talk more about stars, rain, lightning, and a bunch of other great Sky Studio features. I'll see you there.